Now that we have our multi-bot infrastructure set up, I'm sure you all are very keen to run a process on multiple bots and see how it works. But before that, we need to understand a very important concept or a feature that Blue Prism provides is called environment locking. So let's take a look at our currency conversion process to understand this concept. Here we know when this process starts, it first creates an Excel instance, opens the currency exercise workbook, gets the items of the workbook into a collection, then launches the XE currency converter site, adds the collection to the queue, and after that will start picking up each item from the queue and process it until there are no more items left in the queue. Now if we are going to use multiple bots to run this process, we don't have to and we really cannot use the entire process on all the bots. One of the main reasons why we go for multiple bots is to handle a large volume of items, which means we need to identify the repetitive part of this process and use multiple bots only for that repetitive part. So in a currency conversion process, this part where it gets the item from the queue, passes the input to the currency converter page, mark as completed or exception and then append to the output collection. This entire part right here is repetitive for each item in the Excel sheet. And this will be the right candidate for a multi-bot architecture. But if you are looking at these stages where you open the Excel file, get it to the collection and load it into the queue, they are just one-time activity and we don't want multiple bots to process them. Moreover, when multiple bots are used, a standard practice is to save the input Excel file like these in a shared location like a shared folder or SharePoint. So if we have two bots and if both the bots open the same Excel file and load the data into the queue, there will be duplication. There will be duplicate data in the queue. So how do we ensure that only one bot executes this part of the process? One way is to move this part of the process into a separate process and use only one bot to run that process after which multiple bots will run this process where we have the repetitive part. But a better option is to use the environment locking feature. An environment lock is basically a token that a bot should obtain in order to take a particular path. So let me show you what I mean. If we go to the system tab, under workflow, you will see environment locks. If you click that, you should see a list of environment locks on the right hand side. We don't see it now because we haven't created one yet. But when we have an environment lock, we can add a logic to the process where we will instruct the bot to acquire the lock before it can take a particular path. So only one bot can acquire a lock at a time. It's just like a race. We will tell all the bots to go and acquire the lock, but only one bot will finally acquire it. So if I go back to the process studio, and if I drag and drop an action stage, double click. And if I select the internal business object environment locking, we see there are three actions, acquire lock, query lock, and release lock. Now I'll select acquire lock, enter the lock's name as Excel lock. You can give any name you want. I'll give the timeout as just one second. This is of the data type time span. So you need to type the time in hh colon mm colon ss format. So for one second, you will type it as 00 colon 00 colon 01. And you have to type it within double quotes. You can leave the preferred token and comment as blank for now. Then if you go to the outputs tab, you will see an output called token. I'll click this button to create a data item to store the token. Then I'll name the stage as acquire lock. Now when the bot executes the stage, it will check if a lock named Excel lock exists in the list of environment locks which we saw earlier in the system tab. If the lock does not exist, it will create a new lock and it will also acquire the lock. But if the lock already exists, then it will check if the lock is already acquired by some other bot. If not, it will acquire the lock and returns the token number as the output. But if it is already acquired by some other bot, then the output will be returned as blank because the token belongs to the lock and it will be given only to the bot which acquired the lock. The timeout is basically how long the bot should wait in this stage. Alright, so I'll click OK. Now let's redesign this process a little bit. I'll delete this link, rearrange the stages a little bit. 
So previously, once the process is started, it immediately goes to the create Excel instance stage. Instead of that, we will first instruct the bots to acquire the lock. So as soon as the process starts, all the bots running this process will try to acquire the lock, but only one bot will succeed. The bot which succeeds will get the token as the output of this acquire lock stage. For the other bots, the token data item will be blank. So we will add a decision stage here. Double click. I'll name it as token exists. In the expression, I will drag and drop token not equal to blank and click OK. Now, if the token is not blank, it means that the bot has acquired the log. So we will let this bot to proceed further to create the Excel instance. Rest of the bots can simply go to the get next item stage because the bot which acquired the lock will take care of opening the Excel file, getting it to the collection and adding it to the queue. Now we have the launch stage here. So we need the launch stage to be executed by all the bots because only after it launches the XC currency converter page, it can process the rest of the stages inside this currency converter page. So I will delete these two links, move launch to the bottom move the add to queue to the left then link get to collection to add to queue decision stage to launch and finally launch to get next item now once the bot acquires the lock we also need to ensure that it releases the lock after the required task is done here we introduce environment lock to ensure that only one bot adds the items to the queue so as soon as it completes the add to queue stage the lock has to be released so I will add another action stage, double click, name it as release lock, select the business object environment locking and the action release lock. Mention the name Excel lock within double quotes, drag and drop token and click OK and link add to queue stage to release lock and release lock to launch. All right, now let's review what happens when we start this process in two bots simultaneously. First, both the bots will race to acquire the lock and only one bot acquires it, which will save the token in the data item named token. So that bot will pass this decision stage and will go to create the Excel instance, opens the workbook, gets the data into the collection, adds it to the queue, releases the lock, launches XC currency converter site and proceeds to get the next item. The other bot which couldn't acquire the lock will not have any token. So it will fail this decision stage and directly go to the launch stage and proceeds to get next item. In the next video, we will step through this process on both the computers to see how environment locking really works.